Alrighty, hello guys, welcome in faces back to another video on my channel. Today we are continuing on with the building of the aircraft carrier, except in this situation, we're not actually going to see the aircraft carrier today until the end. However, we are going to be building a new plane. So this is the plane that we previously built. I do think it looks okay and I do think it would work. However, it is very small uh, and it's not quite in the right style as to what I actually wanted. So today we're going to start designing a new plane and uh, we'll see if we like that one more or less than this one. So let's go ahead and get on with it, shall we? Hey! Okie dokie, so let's go ahead and put this on both sides, go ahead and start a new one, and start building! Okay, so I'm, I'm not entirely sure how this is gonna go. Uh, in fact, I really, really do not know how this is gonna go, but we're gonna go ahead and strap that onto there. Uh, the first thing we do, we're then gonna go down, yes. Uh, we're then gonna go backwards from there like this, and then we're gonna attach a bunch of uh, these guys. Actually, maybe just one of these, there you go, just like, whoa, not like that. Uh, like this, there we go, and then one of these onto the bottom of there, just like so. And honestly, that is kind of what I want. I think this is gonna be uh, gonna be good. So, we're gonna go ahead and fill that in right there. We're then gonna fill in the bottom section, obviously this bit with this one. And then we need the other smaller piece, like this one, to go directly in there. So, there we go. That is the start of our aircraft. Uh, what do you guys think so far? So far, I think so good. That works. Uh, then we're going to obviously try and figure out where we need uh, to put the engine, because that's going to be tricky. Uh, and then everything else uh, needs to also be added to this. So, I'm thinking we attach this guy directly onto there. Uh, around there, that works. We're then going to do this right here. Excellent. Uh, we're then going to grab one of these, send it backwards like so. And one of those, send it backwards like that. And then the bottom part, uh, exactly the same. We're going to have to build quite a small engine for this, uh, with it being so small already, but there you go. I think that'll be fine. So, that looks okay uh, to me for right now, so we're going to leave that as is. We now need an actual seat uh, to go into this, so we're going to get one of these, and we're just going to, I guess, just smack it in. <laughs> there we go, yeah, sure, why not? Uh, and we're going to go ahead and put, oh, we can't actually fit these in, that's really annoying. Uh, but what we will do is fill this in, up to there like so. Uh, that will probably be dials, so let's go ahead and do that first, and then we can work on that from there, so Dials and dials? Oh, we actually have to put them in like this. That's annoying. Uh, but I guess, uh, no. No, 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 no. I can't have it like that. I can't. There's no way I can have it like that. Right, we're gonna go ahead and put this piece on here like this. There you go. We're gonna put the dial, one of them, right there. That seems fine, there we go. And we'll put some more dials in, but we'll put them further back. I think that works, yeah. So we can delete these guys. We can't delete the floor, unfortunately, but that's okay. So we'll put a dial here, and a dial on the other side, just like so. And we'll fill in the rest of it like this. There you go. So now we've got dials for everything. We'll have speed in the middle, because uh, that's usually pretty good. We'll have fuel down here on this side. We'll have um, battery on the other side. Battery. There we go. All right, excellent. So that works. I think that's pretty good. We're obviously going to put a propeller on the front, and that'll be fine. We now need to figure out how to do the back end. So... We sort of need to seal this off, uh, pretty much as is, so let's do this. And then we need to build the back end in, so that it fits. So, don't know how tall we're going to make this, but something like that seems fine. Uh, we're then obviously going to go with these guys, on the bottom of that, just like so. Uh, and then these guys somehow need to seal themselves in with this as well. Which is pretty ridiculous, but uh, we're going to go with it probably. So, send that that way, grab this, go ahead and go from there, down to there, excellent. Go from here up to there, and we need to attach this guy onto here, like this. That works. We can then do this, if we wanted to, in order to do that. But I'm not sure how I feel about that, so we might delete these guys. So that we can fit that directly onto there like that. Kind of interesting, yeah, I think this will work. We can then uh, fill in this piece if we need to. Don't think we do. Uh, we're also going to get rid of all the interior bits. It just adds weight. Uh, and then we're going to build the rear end in, because... We need a tail fin, or a rudder, I guess. Uh, so far, this looks pretty weird. It looks very small and uh, kind of like we're not going to be able to fit an engine in this. We'll try our best, <laughs> but uh, yeah, we should be good. So what I want to do is actually do this. Uh, ooh. Build a piece in like that, and then put this piece on top of there like this. We'll then attach all of that together like this. All right, so we're going to build it in a little bit like a Spitfire would be, uh, like this. There we go, excellent. We're then going to fill these guys in with these. 
There we go, and there we go. And that's looking awesome, actually. I really, really rate that. That's cool. Uh, we could actually delete these. Grab this, delete that, put this here. And then actually send this backwards like so. Uh, I don't know if I like that or whether I like this more. I think I like this more, so we're going to go with this. Anyway, we need to figure out how to make a thingy out of this. So, uh, a tail fin, I should say. So we're going to do two of those. Yeah, I think that'll be good, to be honest. I think two of those is fine. We're then going to do like one of these. There you go. And then we're going to do another one of these. There you go, like this. And I think we'll probably just have that, to be honest. So we grab this from here, up to there. Yeah, I think that's about the right size. We would then delete like the top three of this, uh, including this piece. Grab ourselves a rudder, smack it straight into there. And yeah, I think that's actually pretty sick. We'll put that on there like that. Pretty awesome. Uh, we'll delete this one and actually put this... On here like this. Yeah. Oh, that looks really cool, actually. I'm liking this one more than the, the other one. Uh, so far, anyway. Uh, we now need to actually position some wings on this. This is where things are going to get very tricky. I also actually want to put a canopy on it as well. Uh, I do feel like that's going to be a pretty tricky thing to do also. Um, kind of. Yeah, I do. I think it's going to be really difficult. Anyway, uh, windows. Let's see if we can actually build them on here. This is... This is going to be very tricky. Because we can't... Oh, we can actually put them there. Interesting. We can put those there like that. Obviously, we want a middle bit in the middle. <laughs> a middle bit in the middle just like this. Yep, there you go. And then on the sides, I'm actually going to have to put a piece there. On both sides. We're going to have to attach that to there like that. And it's going to have to go on the outside. Which I guess is fine. But at the same time, probably not. Probably not what you want. Anyway. Uh, go ahead and put those there like that. Put this here like this. Uh, if I can attach those together, I will try. This is corner full. Is this able to actually be added? Uh, how would it go? Like that. There we go. Yeah, that's actually pretty sick. And then a 1x2 is the last thing that we need. Da -da 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 -da. 1x2x2. Put that directly in there like that. And now we have an actual canopy. I think this looks great. It might be a bit small. This is a very small aircraft. But I kind of like it. I do kind of like it. All right, so with that being said, let's go and delete this piece right here. Delete these. Oh, wow, the engine's going to have to go so... It's going to have to be so, so small. This is ridiculous. Uh, but we might actually delete the edges in order to actually add our engine in there. <laughs> it might actually have to be on show, which is kind of ridiculous in itself, but whatever. Pipe. Uh, actually, no, gearbox is what we're going to use, so we don't waste any space. Uh, go ahead and make it white for right now. That's okay. And point it to the engine. All right, propeller, let's do this. And that should be good. So where is the propeller that we need? The end one. Go ahead and smack that directly on there like this. Uh, make it probably three blades and a hell of a lot smaller. 20%. There we go. Oh, this is sick. It doesn't quite look like a warbird though, does it? It doesn't really look like a warbird. I think it's too small. Again. I think we made something too small again. That's ridiculous. So annoying. Alright, so what we're going to have to do then is not have it on both sides. We are going to delete this area right here. We're going to delete this right here. We're going to get ourselves a pivot and whack that on there. Oh, if we can, but we can't. That's super annoying. Because uh, I need the actual the canopy to, to, to fold off. Uh, but unfortunately, that's not something that we can do. Uh, not like this, at least. How in the world am I going to do that? How am I supposed to get this canopy off of here? I have no idea. Uh, we could just delete it in the top and have one there, I suppose. And that'll allow at least one side to come over. I guess that's fine. All right, windows. Let's do it. So we need a one by two. It's going to have to be. So there you go. It's going to go right there on the top. We'll attach that on. Uh, we will actually have to merge one of these sides with it. So grab this, this, and this, uh, including the bit at the front. Actually, maybe not. So this piece, this piece, and this piece. Cut it, paste it, there you go, merge that back in with this, and now it should be able to like fold off, I think. We do need a button in order to do that, so we'll put a button in, and that'll be fine. So whack a button directly in there. We need a switch box, is the next thing. So a switch box is going to go directly in here like, I guess, like this. So give me one of these, put it directly on car, like this. Excellent, attach this directly up to there, attach that directly into there. And we need the number to be like one, I guess. 
So that works. All right, spawn it in. Let's see if it works. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Infinite electricity. Oh, it is very small. <laughs> it is extremely small, but we would do this. It opens up. We can get inside. We can then add a button somewhere else to close it, but I think that works. We can make this into a fighter. Definitely. All right, so I guess the other things that remain to be seen is actually the horizontal stabilizers. We do need those. I think we'll actually just grab this all the way up to there and we'll copy it and we'll flip it over on its side, bring it off to the side and bring it down to, I guess like there, but we'll do it one further forward. I think that fits, kind of. So we'll actually paste this in here like this. We'll take it to the other side and do the same thing and we'll merge it on. So merge that with that, that with that. Uh, we'll delete the edge pieces because we can actually change these into something nice. So what we'll do is this on the end. Kind of like this. Actually, that's not even right, is it? It's not right. But yeah, we need uh, one of these at the front because uh, that's what we had. So that's going to go there like that. We're then going to add another piece in there like this. And we're going to add one of these guys uh, to the end of that like so. Which means we delete this. And we put one of these guys on the end, I think. Yeah, there we go. So I'll actually have that like that. That might be a bit small, but I guess we can roll with it for now. All right, so the other thing that we desperately need is actually wings. Uh, the wings are going to have to go in here kind of... I, I don't know how we're going to do these, but we're going to try our best to make them look good. So delete that right there, have it attach on directly like this. We're then going to have to do something with this that means that it won't look so out of place. Uh, having a wing attached to it, uh, which is very, very, very annoying. Very, very annoying. Because uh, we can send this out like this. That doesn't work. That doesn't look good. Um, yeah, the wings are just going to have to be quite small, I guess, and sort of overlap this. I think that'll work. So what we'll do is uh, one of these right here like this. We'll attach that directly under there so that it fits in. Clearly, this isn't big enough, so we might actually extend the aircraft a little bit uh, in order to actually have uh, a bigger seat. I think that might work. So we'll grab all of this all the way around. Grab it all the way to the back, all the way out to the side. Same with this side. And cut it. Oh, I didn't grab all of it. Undo. Uh, move it bigger. There we go. Cut it. Move it backwards a little bit. I think two will actually work. Paste it back in. Uh, and I actually think the canopy and everything like that should be moved backwards. Uh, so that maybe we can fit an actual big engine in this thing. And that makes sense. So grab this all the way around. Alright, all the canopy and stuff. That's all good. And the button. And this side. There we go. Go ahead and cut that. Move it backwards to fit on there. Paste it in. Okay, very good. Delete these guys, including this, that's fine. Delete all of this. Fill that bit in right there instead. Okay, good. Merge this together right there and right here. Excellent. We now need to fit these together using these guys, which is fine, you know, it's okay to do this. There we go, we've got an extended aircraft now. Definitely a good idea doing that, to be honest. Was definitely, definitely a good idea to extend the aircraft. All right, merge this with this. Put that in there. Now we can have a bigger wing, which is always awesome. And now it looks a lot better, which is brilliant. I really like this. Uh, with that being said, we now need to move these bits back also. So let's go ahead and uh, cut this, 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 and this. Go ahead and cut them. Move them backwards into the aircraft. Actually, does it go in or does it go there? I'm not sure. Probably there. We'll then actually merge these guys onto here. Merge it in. And we need a seat again, because currently we don't have one. Hopefully, it'll fit. Does it not fit? <laughs> does, it, does it not fit? Please say it fits. There, right. It does actually fit right there. Excellent. So we now have a seat inside of our aircraft. Our aircraft looks like it could go up and dogfight, which is always awesome. And now it just needs an engine and some wings. Good. All right. So for the wings, we're actually going to go ahead and attach these guys on to the bottom of there, just like so. I think that's... Probably fine, however, I'm going to extend it forward one. We're then going to have like maybe two of these. Or maybe just one. I don't know. I think that's fine for now. We can then actually extend this backwards a little bit. Maybe one extra piece. There you go. And then we'll do this on the rear, just like this. And there we go. We have some wings. We are going to delete this. 
and I want to round off the edges, kind of like a Spitfire. Uh, however, obviously that did change towards the end of the Spitfire. It didn't have round wings anymore. Uh, so that's interesting. I don't know whether you guys wanted a history lesson, but there you go. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and do this until it fits together, which I believe that is it. There you go, we'll do this. We'll attach these guys together like that. And now we have actual wings. How do I feel about that? I'm not sure. Uh, what I might do, actually, instead is delete this, bring it further forward, like just another one. Then we can put these guys on there like this. All the way in to, like, there. That makes sense. And then we can just do this on the end. And now we have wings. What do you think of those? They're a bit flat and a bit, like, weird, but I think it works. I think it works. They might be a bit small as well. Let's go ahead and see how big this is. So from there to there, how big is that? That says 35. Okay, 35. From here, all the way backwards to there is 29. 29. Okay, so no, it's about the right size. Kind of. All right. Let's go ahead and delete the end piece. One, two, three, maybe even four, five. I think it's five. Delete those guys. Actually, just one. Get ourselves a... Uh, Control surface. See if it'll attach on. A small one. Here we go. Oh, it's six, isn't it? There you go. So it's six of those. We then put one of these on this side, like so. We put the opposite on this side, and that should work. Excellent. And then what I want to do is actually extend these to be bigger. So we're going to delete that. We're going to put this on. Uh, in there, like that. And it's going to be slightly bigger, which makes the wings look a little bit nicer. I think that works, yeah. Let's go ahead and paint it the same as the other plane, and then we'll put them next to each other, and we'll see which one we like most. Alright, so that is it actually painted. Let's go ahead and spawn it in and see what it looks like when it's actually in here. I do think that that looks somewhat okay. I think the wings might need a little bit of a dihedral, maybe. Uh, I guess, actually, they probably should. Uh, we need to put the switch box back in, and we need to paint that piece in there. And, yeah, I'm not very good at the wings. I'm really not good with wings. Uh, on planes like this, so we're gonna I'm gonna struggle uh, essentially also the other thing that really annoys me about this game is The control surfaces can't be painted two different colors So on the bottom it is it has to be the same color as the top or the the top has to be the same color as the bottom It's very annoying, uh, but I think it's it's somewhat okay Also just notice this we can actually just attach that direct under there uh, And it does actually somewhat fit together, which is kind of interesting uh, but yeah, we're going to go ahead and paint that like that. That's fine. And this bit in the middle, I think we will actually paint it black. There you go. Black on all sides. That's okay. Uh, and I think that'll be fine. So I'm happy with that. With that being said, let's get a switch box yet again and make sure we can actually get into it. Otherwise, problems. All right, delete this one. And put that directly on there like so. Excellent. Uh, connect this directly to there and this directly to here. Make the one, number one. And there we go. All right, so... Um, the other thing is, obviously, I did say that maybe a dihedral would be good. However, if I do that, we have to delete the wing. I guess that's fine. Uh, it is actually fine, right? So we're going to go from there all the way back to here. We're going to paint the top piece again, obviously, so it's all right. There we go. Excellent. And then we go to the bottom. We delete, uh, this piece right here. Actually, I didn't need to do that, but never mind. Uh, we get it in this color. We go ahead and put this right here like this. Attach those... Ah, oh, the wings aren't actually detached. That's annoying. So this goes from here all the way to the end. There you go. Uh, including these pieces. Cut it. Paste it. Alright, take it to the other side and do the same thing. Do, 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 do. Uh, right, all the way to the end. Question mark. There we go. Cut it. Paste it. Did I do that wrong? No. Okay. Uh, merge this with this. Uh, why is that? I didn't grab that bit. Okay, my bad. Uh, this bit with this bit, excellent, so they're attached, and then we need to attach this piece under here, and then we're good to go, so, um, yeah, <laughs> so yeah, we need to grab this piece and this piece, cut it, paste it, and merge it straight away, there we go, alright, excellent, so, now what we need to do is actually get a number, and attach it straight onto there, so that we can actually, uh, have them fold upwards just a tiny bit, so attach this, onto here, uh, where, here and here, and they should fold uh, only a little bit, like 0.2 or something. So spawn it in, let's see what happens. That's way too much. <laughs> that is way too much. But yes, uh, not point, not 0.5? Maybe that's enough? 
So it's slightly angled upwards. I think that's pretty sick. Uh, it works. Yeah. Also, for now, I might fill in the front bit, just so that we know. So, go in here. Grab this. Uh, fill this bit in. So, from there to there. And paint it on the outside, and we should be good to go. So, paint this bit for now. And I think the front is actually going to be this color. So, we'll do that straight away. And we might even do this. There. Yeah. Okay. I think we've built another plane that looks all right. It just... I, it might be too small again. <laughs> it might be too small again. But if... We go to build another one. I'll probably end up building it like this, to be honest. Does that paint the other side? Oh, it's so annoying. It is so, so annoying. Um, right, I might actually do this. Just on that little bit right there. And this little bit right here. Yeah, why not? Okay, cool. So we get a little line now. That's fine. Anyway, let's go ahead and spawn this in next to the other one. And then we'll pick between them which one we prefer. We might then just build another one as well. Because these seem too small. Kind of. Also, neither of them actually have landing gear. We need to sort that out too, but we'll figure that out later. Anyway, let's spawn them in. All right, so you guys ready to actually see what they look like on the deck? Let's turn around, and there they are. So, one is like a little bit more American style, and one is more British style, I guess. That's more American. A little bit chunkier. Actually looks... I think that looks worse uh, than this one. I think this one actually looks pretty good. So, we might continue with this one. Uh, bin that one for now. And then I think we need a bigger plane. Like we genuinely need something um, like scaled, a scaled up version of this. So what we might do is actually rebuild this one in the next video and make it bigger. Uh, just so that it looks like it fits on a carrier. I, I don't know. This doesn't seem to be the right size. Uh, I do like it though. So we might keep it for now. But uh, yeah, let me know in the comments down below which one you guys uh, like. That one's going to be easier to put an engine in because it's a little bit bigger. Uh, a little bit chunkier. This one, obviously, is going to be pretty difficult to build an engine for, but we can probably do it. Um, but yeah, both of them pretty small. Anyway, let me know in the comments down below which one you guys prefer. We're going to call this one number one and this one number two. Let me know which one you prefer. Anyway, thank you guys very much for watching this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.